so good morning all of you today we are going to discuss this chapter which is how to implement mail merge in open office writer this is section 5 of open office writer how to implement mail merge so what is mail merge basically mail merge is basically used if you have to print some letters with some address on it suppose your school wants to give some notice to the students and on each page of the notice there is a letter there is a address name of the parent address is there so what you want is the notice will remain the same only the uh, address and name of the parent will change similarly there is a company who wants to send some information some um, invitation or some pay slip or some other notice or circular they want to send to various employees of the company so what do they want is they want the details to be something like this suppose they want to write to okay and then they want to write here the name of the employee should come and then suppose department then address of the employee should come and some uh, some of the letter like this you are invited okay so what we want here is suppose there are hundreds of employees in the company and for each employee we want to send the circular so for uh, that we have to write the name department address and other details of the employees here so uh, what we do is we create a database in the database we save all the details of the employees suppose there are 100 employees so details of all the employees are stored in the database so whenever you want to send any notice any circular to the employees we will just take these details from the database and they will be merged with the document so document is what this letter which we have made this notice which we are making for the employees this is a letter which we are making which is a circular which we are making so the content of the circular will be same only name address department this will change so what we are basically doing in mail merge we are merging the database with the document so that's why it is called as merge mail merge so we are creating a mailing letters and merging the document with the database which we have created so what is the database basically database means where we store our all our records these records can be for the students like in school we maintain records of the students we maintain their admission number their name class and other details similarly in companies we maintain database of employees in which we store uh, name of the employees their salary their address phone number any details which we want to store okay so basically mail merge is used to merge or to combine the database with the document the document which we create in open office writer and database which we create in some external uh, through some external source okay so now we will see how to create uh, how to use mail merge in open office writer so suppose i want to create this uh, notice for the school students suppose i am taking an example of a school now in school we maintain various kind of details of the students okay so like we maintain the name of the parents okay parents name father's name address and phone number and we want to send some circular regarding there is a seminar in school old hall on 20th july 2021 at 9 am kindly attend and we want to send this circular to the students to the parents okay so what we want here is we want that in this circular here the name of the parent should come here the address should come and here the phone number of the parent should come and suppose there are 2000 students or 3000 students are there in the school so it will create 3000 mailing letters like this and on each of these letters individual pages the letters will be printed and on each of these letters the name of the parent parents name or father's name and address and phone number will be stored and then uh, these will be printed on different different pages and they can be sent to all the students of the school or particular students of the school okay so now we will see this example how to create how to do this by using mail merge option so basically what is mail merge mail merge is used to print or email form letters to multiple recipients using mail merge you can easily customize form letters for individual recipients mail merge is also used to create envelopes or labels in bulk so we if you want to create some envelopes or if you want to create some notice circular anything in bulk then we use mail merge so this will reduce time to type the name address and phone number and other details again and again okay so first of all to create a to use mail merge we have to click on tools mail merge wizard tools mail merge wizard then we will click on use the current document because we want to create a mail merge in this document we have already written the content of the document okay now click on next letter only we have to select from here okay which type of document you want to create we want to create a letter then after that 
now we have to first create a database either the database is already created here so we can select that it is already showing some databases already there but we want to create our own database now so you can click on select different address list and you can click on create here because we are creating a new database we are creating a new set of records for our document so now these are the fields which you can save like title first name last name company name address so many things are there email address gender so now suppose i don't want these many fields for my mail merge okay i want my own fields some other fields which are which basically are different from the fields which are given over here so i can click on customize and i can specify my own fields here i can click on add so you have to click on customize here and then click on add and i am i adding suppose name this is name of the parent here click on add then i am taking uh, suppose again click on add i am taking address click on add here and then suppose i am click on clicking on add and clicking on and writing the another field name as phone number so three fields i want so these are the three fields which i have taken name address and phone number rest of the fields i don't want so i just click on delete button and delete all the fields which are given over here click on delete button and delete the fields which you don't need so i have by mistake deleted uh, phone number also so i will write phone number again and click on add so these are the fields which i want name title address phone number okay then uh, after that we will click on okay now this is the data entry form which is shown over here now i can enter details of the students so basically we have to maintain a database first of all first of all we have to type all the records of the students so once these records are saved we can use it any number of times wherever we want okay so suppose mr write the name of the parent here write address write phone number and click on so this one record we have saved okay this is entry number 1 click on new now this is entry number 2 which we are making okay now i am writing address for second parent here and phone number click on new now this is entry number 3 now we are entering the record for the third student Okay, and we are writing any phone number here. Click on new. So I am just creating four records here. Okay, and I am entering records for one more one more parent here, and writing any address over here. And. Detail. So four records I have entered. If I click on this back button, I can see all the records. This is for next record. This is for previous. This is for first record. This is for the last record. So we can go to previous record or next record, and we can navigate between records here. Okay, and then click on OK. Now it will ask you to save the file. You have to save the file somewhere. Remember where you are saving the file. So I am saving the file in the desktop. Suppose the name of the file, the name of the database which we are creating is student. Suppose. Okay. now after this you have to click on okay this database has been selected so you can see the current address list is student now now we have to create some address block here so we will click on more so what address block we want to create i am just creating my new address block here so i am taking title then first name then suppose address line 1 this should match the field which i have taken okay then i have taken suppose telephone number so my field names are different my field name is not first name i have taken title name address and phone number so i am just taking the field name which are similar to the field which i have taken and then i can rearrange them i can place a down arrow key and rearrange the fields uh, move it down this also okay down arrow to move the move the key down and then click on okay now uh, this particular field this particular uh, i have already created this 
uh, address block here. Now I'm going to edit it here. And suppose I want to take title also and title I'm taking it here and first name should come down. So I will place the cursor like this and move it down. So this way I have created an address block. Now I have to match the fields. So for that, what I will do is I'll click on match fields. So in this case, we have taken the first name. Ke we have taken name. So I am matching first name with name. उसके बाद हमारे पास एड्रेस लाइन 1 हमने जो लिया था हमारे ब्लॉक में एड्रेस लाइन 1 में हमारे पास था एड्रेस तो एड्रेस लाइन 1 की जगह हमने एड्रेस ले लिया उसके बाद हमने क्या लिया था हमने लिया था फोन नंबर प्राइवेट फोन नंबर प्राइवेट में हमने यहां ले लिया फोन नंबर एज यू कैन सी हियर यहां पर एक एड्रेस ब्लॉक का प्रीव्यू भी दिख रहा है क्योंकि हमने फील्ड्स को मैच कर दिया टाइटल का टाइटल से मैच किया है फर्स्ट नेम को हमने नेम से मैच किया हमने फोर फील्ड्स दी थी टाइटल नेम एड्रेस एंड फोन नंबर तो ये हमने मैचिंग कर ली यहां पर एड्रेस 1 की जगह हमने अपना एड्रेस फील्ड को मैच कर दिया और फिर फोन प्राइवेट को हमने यहां पर फोन नंबर से मैच कर लिया तो यहां हमारी फील्ड्स मैच हो गई ये प्रीव्यू शो कर रहा है ओके क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट ओके इफ यू वांट टू इंसर्ट सम सैल्यूटेशन दैट यू कैन इंसर्ट ओके सो इफ आई एम टेकिंग दिस एनी सैल्यूटेशन इफ यू वांट टू इंसर्ट यू कैन सपोज अ प्रीव्यू इज टू हूम इट मे कंसर्न सो दिस इज द सैल्यूटेशन आई एम टेकिंग हियर क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट वी कैन एडजस्ट द पेज लेआउट आई एम नॉट चेंजिंग इट हियर आई एम जस्ट मेकिंग इट एज इट इज Click on next. Then it is asking me if you want to edit the document. Click on edit document. जैसे कि मेरा ये salutation यहाँ आ रहा है, इसको मैं यहाँ से हटा के और मैं इसको ऊपर रख लेती हूँ. And after that, I will increase the size of the font. Then I'll click on return to mail merge. Return to mail merge. So it will go back again to the mail merge wizard. Click on next. Okay. Then after that, click on next again. and you have to save starting document click on save starting document and then you have to save the file which we have created just now so this is the mail merge file which we have created and i am saving it here with the name mail so as you can see this is my document which has been created i will click on finish so i'll just remove it okay so this is the first page and you can see uh, on the first page the name of the first parent mr ajay agarwal and the address and phone number are coming If I scroll down, here the name of the second parent, Mr. Raj Arora, Pidam Pura, and if you can see the content of the document is same to whomsoever it may concern, then this this particular portion, name of the parent, uh, address, and phone number, they are changing. But the rest of the content is seminar. This is same for all the documents. On the second page, we will see the record of the next parent of the next student here. Similarly, next page, the third student's record is appearing here, and on the last page, the fourth. students record is appearing here so in all we have created four records here so this is how we will use mail merge and basically what we have done we have created a document in which we have written some text like some information regarding some seminar in school and then we have created a database and then we have merged the database uh, of the students in this document so this is how we have done mail merge